Morning guys, so we are back after a couple of lovely rest days eating loads of food and playing Xbox. I'm out rocking my new shade, courtesy of my girlfriend's mum, legend, for a birthday present, frame bag from my mum. lenses that i'm filming on from my sister it's been a very very lovely few days off i've got some new cool stuff to use so i'm really really happy so we have 40 mile an hour winds today so if the volume quality is a bit shocking i do apologize guys He just stung me in the head. So I seem to be getting a little bit bullied by bugs at the minute. <laughs> I got stung in the head by a bee today. And then check this out. This is from the other day when I did my two day test. Hi guys, so me and Ivy chilling here, about to play some Xbox. <laughs> I wanted to quickly talk about something that I think is very important to talk about, and that's um, the after effects of long distance riding. And this is something that's very true to me and something I've struggled with quite a lot. After I do a race or a big challenge, I tend to be on a bit of a high for a day or two, and then I start to feel pretty crap two, three days after, but not like just physically crap, mentally crap as well. So I just genuinely feel really low. I seem to have a bit more of an appetite, so I'm still eating a lot more. Maybe that's something to do with having a higher metabolism from the ride, or maybe that's just the kind of comfort eating. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't feel alone in this place because this is really common and I remember reading something years and years ago that there was a study saying that after a, like a big race, let's say a week's race, you come back a few days after you actually get very similar symptoms to PTSD which is just insane, you know, that's a really tough thing to manage so we always call it like in kind of the community after I blues and I get it just terribly, you know. I always feel quite deflated for days after and I really struggle and I'm not this kind of happy, smiley, full energy Robbie for a while. And it's it's a bit annoying, but it just seems to be a bit of a throwback. I don't believe you can have all these highs without having all the lows as well, unfortunately. But if you feel like that, you know, like it's okay. You know, don't see that as a bad thing. I'd literally just see that as, you know, you, you had such a good time that you're on a bit of a come down from it all. And, you know, if you need to talk to people about that, you're really struggling with, you should, you know, never be embarrassed about how you feel. That's one thing that is very difficult to control. Give it a day or two and I'll feel a bit better again. But at the minute, I'm just feeling like a little bit crap. I get bullied by bugs and I feel low. Even today's ride didn't really break me out that cycle of feeling a little bit glum. I got back and I said to Bryony, oh, just, you know, wasn't in the mood for that today. And it, it is what it is, you know, but like I say, it's a normal thing. You know, I wouldn't stress it too much. It's really natural and every racer gets it, I'm sure. You know, your body's all over the shop. It's not healthy to ride like, 25 hours in a couple of days and then come back away from it and then feel as though you're gonna go straight back to normal after a decent night's sleep. Cause you won't, you're gonna feel like crap. It is what it is. And like I say guys, it, the offer extends to anyone. If you're having a bit of a hard time, you know, with struggling with after ride blues or just struggling in general, just drop me a message. How do you feel after a big long ride? Let me know in the comments. Tell me if you get the same.